Is that wax? Yes, it's true. I do have a mustache worthy of the greatest of douche canoes. Guys, 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 guys. Despite this mustache, you can tell I'm not a millennial. There's a clue in this room. I will give you five seconds to spot it. Did you get it? Did you get it right? That's correct. That coffee press is a sign that I am not a millennial, but a creature of the 90s. Also, you can tell that I'm not a millennial because I'm speaking with confidence and strength. I recently read a post written by a millennial Christian in which he reassured the church that there were, in fact, ways in which the church could address him and his needs. And in it, he referred to the generation of millennials as enigmatic and paradoxical. Now, I have a rule. If anyone ever speaks of themselves, as if they were the hero of a Harlequin romance novel, they get a nose pinch. Now, this is not vindictive on my part. No, I give out nose pinches to help people with attitude adjustments. So now I'm going to go ahead and extend an offer, free nose pinch for any millennial who sees me and requests it. You know, I'm not going to force this nose pinch upon you. You must come to the realization that the nose pinch will help you. Will help you see life as it really is. I'm six foot nine, so I will come from above. I will seize your nose and pinch. And I will twist my wrist and push down. You will be taken to your knees and you will cry. Have you ever been hit in the face with a ball? Of course you haven't because you're too prissified to have played sports. But people who get hit in the face with a ball cry because they get bopped on the nose, and being bopped on the nose makes you tear up. So we're going to employ that. You're going to end up on your knees. You're going to be weeping. And in this way, I will magically induce a feeling of repentance in you. And you will turn from your life of being enigmatic and paradoxical. Yes. All of this lies before you, if only you will come to me. Then I will pinch thy nose and take thee down. Self-absorption is maybe the least attractive human quality I've been around. Millennials think about themselves entirely too much, and perhaps... They've been taught that by their elders and betters because their elders think about them all the time, too. How can we look after our little 30-year-old? If it's a nose pinch that you need, I will give it. But what you really need is to stop referring to yourselves as an enigmatic, as paradoxical. And there's a better way to get on your knees than by having a big bad giant pinch your nose and bring you into submission. There's a better way to come to your knees than to have life do it for you. Now, it seems like some people have been preventing you from being knocked down. They've been shielding you from life and its many outrages but that's going to stop one day. You will be brought to your knees. The only one who graciously forces submission, the only one who kindly dominates is the Dominus himself. You can kneel before Jesus Christ in confidence. You can kneel before Jesus Christ and know that
that you will be treated as a son. You're not going to be spoiled, but you'll be treated as a son. You'll be given responsibilities worthy of a Lord's son. So, out of that. But if you're not willing to do that, maybe go for that second best. Maybe come back by here. Have a giant seize you by the nose. Take you down. I've never belonged to a church that did things the way I would want them to be done. And I thank God for that. So, if your attitude is one of self-absorption, if your attitude is one of being catered to, if your attitude is that the entire church should change for you, millennial or not, don't come for the nose pinch. Repent. Repent of that attitude. Come to Jesus.